Mario Rizzotti with MarioRizzotti.com and I'm proud to participate to this amazing campaign organized by the Italian Embassy from Washington DC and all over the country of the United States and also together with the Italian Trade Agency. It's an event to promote the, uh, through social media the use of Italian products in your kitchen. Your home, well, let's make something Italian. So stay home and cook Italian. Today, we're gonna bring you a very, very easy dish. It's called Polo Saltimbocca or Saltimbocca La Romana, or you can do it with a veal. Today, we have actually here a few ingredients that you can find everywhere. Make sure you buy your Italian part of it. So we do have actually a breast of chicken. Make sure you pound it very thin. We have a nice prosciutto di Parma. You can use another prosciutto Italiano. Make sure it's a real McCoy. We have Italian extra virgin olive oil, and then we have a little bit of fresh butter, and then we have a little bit of sage. In the meanwhile, I'm gonna turn on our stove, so we're gonna start to warm up the fire and put a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, then the recipe will be listed below. We're gonna take our chicken right now, we're gonna lightly dust it, okay, inside the flour. I'm using actually an Italian flour as well, which is available in the markets. And this is very easy, guys, you'll be surprised. And again, remember to use hashtag CookItalian for this beautiful campaign organized by the Italian uh, Embassy. We're gonna take down the chicken right now, it's slightly dusted. We're gonna put a little bit of uh, uh, sage and then we put a little bit of the prosciutto on top and we do the same thing with this. We get rid of this, we're gonna get some more room right here. Here we go. And then after this, we're gonna take these two beautiful breast of chicken with the help of this tool. The oil is gonna be hot. I use only extra virgin olive oil also for cooking. Make sure it's an Italian one, make sure the sage product of Italy. And then we're gonna take the chicken right now, put it right here. It's ready to go. This dish usually takes about two minutes, two minutes and a half. I'm gonna start to cook the saltimbocca with the uh, a little bit of the uh, prosciutto face down. And then we're gonna start to wait for this to be ready. A great wine that goes well with this. And make sure also you add a little bit of butter, by the way, just to give them a little bit of uh, creaminess to this beautiful sauce. And uh, this one goes very well, this uh, special dish to goes very well with the taurasi. If you want to do a Brunello di Montalcino, if you really want to go and spice it up, or if it's not, you can use a Montebucciano di Abruzzo wine, and they're amazing. As you can see right here, it's going to take about another minute, or probably a little bit less. One side is already cooked. Make sure you leave a medium fire. The other side is cooked. And as you can see, the prosciutto is going to give that kind of nice saltiness because we didn't put any salt at all in here. So it's going to be a great flavor profile. And when it's ready to go, because we are live and we have a power of live TV, it's going to exactly look like this. And here we go. This is our beautiful chica salsa in bocca. We use the Italian ingredients. We use the Italian prosciutto. We use Italian extra virgin olive oil. We're going to move this out of the fire. We put a little mixed baby green. We create the dressing with extra virgin olive oil. We create the dressing with a little bit of uh, Italian uh, extra virgin olive oil and balsamic vinegar as well. And everything is ready for you to taste. We cut it out, ready to be served. Cook Italian, hashtag cook Italian. So stay home and cook Italian. Use Italian ingredients. And thank you very much for all of you for supporting. Ciao.